Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back. So I don't know if what you're viewing is gonna look insanely bright. Um, I am in the process of trying to like upgrade a lot of my equipment and figure out what works together. So I have a camera, I'm not filming on it yet, but I did order a new light and I do have that up right now for this video. And it is extremely bright in this room right now. So I'm not sure how that's gonna translate. I'm sorry if I look absolutely terrible under actually good lighting. Very nervous to have to edit this, but nonetheless, we are going to forge ahead and make a video. And that video today is going to be doing a ranking of every Halloween Barbie. So it is Halloween. Happy Halloween, guys. Um, I know I'm not very festively dressed, but like, it is what it is. I've spent all my money on dolls, so I couldn't buy a costume. <laughs> um, but I thought it would be fun to do a ranking video. It's been a little bit. I've been doing a lot of unboxings. And I thought, especially for the holiday, we could do something a little bit different. So yeah, I wanted to rank every Halloween Barbie. With that, there are some extra disclaimers. I feel like every video I've got different disclaimers. As per usual, this is just my opinion. So if you disagree, that is totally fine. It's not a big deal. Um, I just have my own thoughts. Also, this is probably not comprehensive. <laughs> I used a Barbie database that I have linked in the description down below to find all of these photos. So that's where all of my like photos have come from. But to find these dolls, I did just type in Halloween into the search and then picked from there. So if I missed one, I am sorry. I just like have no idea how to find a more comprehensive list of every Halloween Barbie. So I feel like I probably got most of them. I have a lot here. But if I did miss one, I am sorry. And then lastly, a lot of these Halloween Barbies do come in different hair colors or different skin tones, a lot like um, like holiday Barbies. So for those, I just like picked randomly. Sometimes one stock photo or not stock photo, but one photo that was available on the website would have the box like turned. So I would pick the one that like better depicts what the Barbie looks like or if they were all fine, I just randomly picked. So I'm not like doubling up on rankings. Like I'm not gonna rank like the African-American version of one Barbie and then the white version of one Barbie because that's pretty redundant. They'd be in the same tier. Um, so yeah, just so you know, that's kind of like why I'm skipping several race variations or like hair variations, that sort of thing. I think that is though everything I need to say. So let's go ahead and get started. So just like with all my rankings, I do use Procreate. I have some different tiers than I usually do for the Monster High ones though. So I've got perfect, cute, tacky, but good because I do feel like a lot of Barbie's designs may have aged a little bit poorly or might just be really out there. So like, they're not something that I would wear, but like they also still look good. You'll understand when we start going into this, you'll know what I'm saying. Um, mid, it exists and bad. So I'm gonna scroll down and start from the bottom here. The first one is Barbie and Kelly, Happy Halloween. We're starting off on a strong note. I actually think this is very cute. This isn't like a doll that I would want to buy for my personal collection. I don't think any of these honestly will be just because I don't really buy a ton of holiday dolls for any kind of holiday. But I think this concept is so cute. I love that Kelly is dressed as a little pumpkin. And then Barbie's got kind of the matching pumpkin sweater with the cat on it. You know the cat is helping this. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that there are definitely better designs on here, but this is a good start. I'm going to throw it in cute. What have I done? Dear God. Okay. I said I was going to throw it in cute, but like, <laughs> there we go. Okay, next up, we've got Halloween Haunt. And... I'm having mixed feelings. This face style, I can never get past on Barbies. Like, I just really don't like it. Um, I love orange, though. We've got a little hat. We have cats on the dress, so that's pretty cool. Mm, I'm going to put this in mid. I'm sorry. Like, I just really... Some face molds really kill Barbies for me, and this is one of them. Okay, this is a two-pack with Barbie and Ken. It's the Halloween party. It's kind of fun. It's different because a lot of these Halloween dolls have like very, very similar color themes. This is also the only uh, two pack with Ken, I think. And yeah, like there's not orange or really purple or anything. They're just dressed as pirates. They're there to go. It's cute. That being said, if you took this out of box and it didn't have like the Halloween party written on it in the background, I don't think it would read very Halloween. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in cute because I do think that this is a precious concept and it actually looks like their clothes have a decent amount of detail. But yeah, I, I don't think it's like quite perfect yet. Okay, then we have Holiday Fun. This is another Barbie and Kelly uh, two pack. And this is what I mean when I say tacky but cute because I know for a fact that when I was in like third or fourth grade, I actually wore a cat costume very similar to this. I don't know if I was inspired by this doll. I don't have a memory of being inspired by this doll, but like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a look. Um, I would not wear it now, 
that being said, it looks cute. Like they're a cute little duo. It's like a Halloween thing. I don't know. This is what I mean by tacky but cute. Like it is not what I would consider the most fashionable, but I still love it. So it has to have its own category because there's going to be a few like that. Okay, then we have Friends of Kelly. This was a four pack of a bunch of the younger dolls and it's fine. Um, I don't really like young dolls. Like, I don't like the Kelly dolls. Um, I just don't like dolls of kids more. Like I like the like teenage to adult range of dolls, if that makes sense. They're cute. I would definitely never buy them. I think I'm going to put it in mid. Just it's, it's something that I'm sure another person would love, but for my taste, for my personal ranking, it has to go in mid because I just would never. Okay, this one I love. I think this is so cool. It's the Enchanted Halloween Barbie. Also, a lot of these have like repetitive names or the same name for two different dolls. It's just, I, I don't know what to do. Like, that's all I have. So this is the Enchanted Halloween one. And I think this is so cute. I love the orange, obviously. I love the kind of like fire looking aspect. I don't know if it's meant to be fire, but it looks like fire to me. I love the fire at the bottom of the dress. I love the glitter all over the dress. I think this is so fun. And she still comes with a little trick or treat bag. I'm obsessed. This one's going to go in perfect for me. Okay, next up is Halloween Glow. And this is another one that I really, really love. This glows in the dark. So while you can't see that on the photo that I have here, the fact that it glows in the dark, instant boost in like ranking, just because that's such a fun feature, especially for Halloween. Like that's such a good idea. I also think the design is really cute. Again, we have like a witch hat and this time it's more purple, but it's like a lighter purple than they use a lot of the time. I don't know. I think this is very sweet and I'm going to put that in perfect as well. I'm just now realizing like with the names, this is going to be so hard for you guys to tell me what your ranking would be down in the comments because like, it's not like Monster High where you can go by the name of the line. Like some of these are so repetitive. It's fine. I'm sure you guys will figure it out. I still want to know what you think. Okay, another banger. This is the Halloween Princess, and I just, I like it. I don't know. It's kind of verging on the tacky but good. Like, it's almost there, but I really like it. I like the spiderweb motif. I like the purple. I love the neck piece. I think it's just, like, Barbie has kind of a different aesthetic for Halloween stuff than, like, another doll would be. Obviously, I've been doing the costume ball unboxings for Shadow High, which are kind of, like, their Halloween dolls this year. And it's just such a different vibe. And for some reason, like, this is definitely less designed. It has less details. But it just reads so, like, kitschy and so Halloween to me. I love it. I'm putting that in perfect as well. I should have mentioned I really like Halloween. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have perfectly Halloween, which is cute. And this is pretty much the exact same version of this. Sorry, I have to, like, zoom in really far. But it's just Barbie, and it's longer, and it's pink, which I feel dials up exactly the tacky but good to, like, 11. I love this. It's going to go in tacky but good. But I do love it. It's, oh, it's the best kind. Like, I really genuinely do not mean tacky as an insult. It's kind of like camp. I'm going to embarrass myself. I don't really know how to define camp. But I feel like this is camp. Maybe. I don't know. But, like, how camp is saying that something's, like, bad in a good way, I think... I could be really off base. I should probably stop talking. Point is, is when I say tacky, I genuinely don't mean that in a bad way. Like, it's just a different category of awesome. I don't know how to describe it. It's fine. Anyway, this is the Halloween Enchantress. And Barbie is just, like, killing it with these, honestly. The shiny fabric, instant draw for me. The stars all over, I think, is so beautiful. Like, it's so overdone, but in, like, the best possible way. Um, maybe I'm learning that I just don't, like animal prints as much as other prints because like realistically this could go in tacky but good but it's gonna go in perfect maybe I should have just changed that to animal <laughs> okay this one though this one makes me feel weird um this is the Halloween fortune doll and I'm not of Romani descent so like I feel like I have no say in this whatsoever right I can't tell if this is like something that might be considered referencing their style or their traditions or their culture or if this would be appropriation and inappropriate good on barbie for not using the g slur in this because i feel like that very easily could have happened um but yeah i don't know i just feel like i can't actually weigh in on this because it's definitely referencing romani culture and i just as a white human being can't 
tell whether that's a good thing or a bad thing in this case. So I'm going to put it in it exists. That does not mean that inherently it is bad. It just means that I'm unqualified to talk on it. Then we have the Bootiful Halloween. This one I really want to like, but it's kind of boring, honestly. I feel like more maybe could have been done. Um, I like her hair. I think that that's cute with the widow's peak and the styling is nice. She also goes in the dark, but like she's just missing that oomph. So I'm going to go ahead and pop her in mid. I don't know if you just heard my cat meow, but she's missing me. Okay, this is Halloween Star, and I'm a lot less big a fan of this with the pants. I just think that like this would be better as a full witch costume, like a full dress. The pants, it technically makes it more costumey. Like this might be something you'd actually wear to a party, but mm, I don't know. I like a lot of the fabrics, but the pants really kill it for me. I'm going to put it in mid. Okay, then we've got Halloween Wishes, which ironically seems kind of similar to the last one. Um, and I know that it's a dress, so therefore I should, in theory, like it more. But that bow, the tool bow, it, like if you took that off, immediately better. But I actually really don't like that at all. Um, is it bad enough to go in bad? I don't know. I did pretty much create the It Exists category just for the Halloween Fortune doll, because like, that's definitely a category of its own where I just like don't know what to do with that. So I'm trying to decide if Halloween wishes should go in mid or bad. Like those are pretty much the two choices. I think I'm actually going to put this one in bad. I just, I don't know. I, instead of feeling nothing towards it, I do feel a little bit of animosity. So like that's pretty bad. <laughs> this one though, oh my gosh, Halloween charm. First of all, that face sculpt is so pretty. Or maybe it's just like the print, like the paint. I don't know if that's a totally different sculpt or what, but I love it. It looks so good. And the hair, the streaks is so pretty. All of the vibrant colors, the mesh with the glitter and like the detailing of like the moons all over it. I love it. This is absolutely going in perfect. It's so cute. Okay, then we have Halloween hip, which like is just boring. I do think that is a skirt, which makes me offended in this case because it's like a floor length denim skirt. And I just don't think that that's the best fashion choice. The top is cute, but it's just, I don't know. It feels very boring compared to the other ones. Maybe I am going to reuse the It Exists. No, no, we're just going to put it in bad. Alrighty, this one is the Halloween party. And <laughs> that skirt, oh my gosh. I actually have no idea what year this doll came out, but this feels very... Um, reminiscent of my middle school years so like 2006 to 2008 ish I think just like the <laughs> I think they are leggings but they look so thick that it's basically pants with the skirt over it the matching leggings and the shirt I would have worn this as a kid I think this is gonna go in tacky but good because it's just like not anything I would want to see now but like there's a charm about it you know Okay, wow, Pink Halloween. They were not kidding. It's very aptly named, if a bit oddly named. <laughs> I really do like this, despite the overwhelming amount of pink, though. I think if you took the box away and she wasn't in a pink box, immediately would look better. But I love the spiderweb detailing. I actually think the cut of this dress is really cool and fun with the sleeves and then the bottom piece. And I mean, it's Barbie. You can get away with like a lot more pink than maybe other dolls. I think I'm going to put this in cute. She's not like quite perfect for me just because I think for me, I like the Halloween dolls that have maybe slightly more traditional colors. It's like the only way I'm traditional, <laughs> um, but she's really good. Okay. Halloween treat. This one was sad because I remember specifically this one didn't have a great photo for either of them. So I just kind of had to go with the one that I thought was a little bit better. This one showed the sparkle better, which is what I wanted because like I love glitter, so obviously I want to show off the sparkle. I think she does have more purple in her hair, which again, I really like. I'm not as blown away by this one, but I don't think it's bad. I'm going to put her in mid. All right, this is Happy Halloween. I think this one is like almost exactly the same as another one that's going to come up here soon. I could be wrong. They do kind of all blur together at some point. Like when I was prepping this, I was like, there's so many of these. It looks so similar in a way. Um, she's not bad, though. I think that the slightly poofier skirt is a very different silhouette than a lot of the Halloween Barbies have. Like, a lot of them are more slinky or, like, mermaid style. 
So that's different and fun. There's like a faint bat print on here. Honestly, I could see if you made some changes to this outfit, minus maybe the witch hat, because it's just like a little bit too on the nose. But like some changes to the actual outfit, I feel like this could be a Dracula or outfit. Um, she has a Barbie necklace. I didn't even see that. That's cute, actually. I'm going to put her in cute then. That's, that's appropriate. I think the necklace is actually a really fun little detail. Okay, this is Halloween Haunt. Wait, hold on. Is that a fake broom? Or is that real? I think that broom might be card. I thought that the broom actually had sparkles on it. Like, I thought it was a... I'm a little sad now. Um, I think the prints are not great together. The design I'm not super obsessed with. I think I'm actually going to put this one in bad. No, that is not completely influenced by the fact that I have just realized her broom is cardboard. But it is, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> okay, Halloween Star. I kind of want to like this just because she's dressed as a cat again. So immediately I want to like it. Um, but I really don't. I think this is like a little bit too far in the Cats the Musical direction to be tacky but good. And in fact, I think it's just bad. <laughs> okay, this is Sweetheart Halloween. And this one definitely feels very, very casual. This is like what you'd wear to school on Halloween if you're not like allowed to wear a costume, like maybe if you're a teenager. I don't know if you guys had that experience actually, um, but I wasn't like supposed to wear costumes to school. I did on occasion, but I wasn't supposed to wear costumes to school for Halloween when I like got older. This feels like what you would wear to like try to be like, yeah, I know it's Halloween, but like I have to wear regular clothes. Or maybe you just don't feel like wearing a costume, but you still want to kind of celebrate. It's cute. I don't think it's anything particularly special, but like it's not bad. I'm going to put her in mid- just because I like the over-the-top stuff always, but especially for Halloween, like, you might as well go all out. <laughs> Sorry, this one's literally just called Halloween. Like, that's it. That's all I have. Um, I like the pink hair, everything else. Pretty basic, again, with the fake broom. I'm so sad about that. Uh, the prints are cool, but, like, honestly, overall, it's just... Eh, I'm going to put her in bad. I actually wasn't sure if I was going to have... This many and bad before. Um, I'm a little sad now. Happy Halloween. Okay. Starting to get kind of similar. I like the attempt at the collar, but it's definitely not as detailed as I would have liked for it to be. I do like the plastic spider web around her neck for her necklace. That's cute. Um, the bat purse. Nice. The top half is definitely better to me than the lower half, but overall, I'm going to put her in mid. Okay. This one is Halloween magic, and I actually think she's so cute. Um, the cat print. Hi, I love cats. That's nothing new here. But I like the corsetting detail to the dress. I think the necklace is cute, the little ears, and the orange streak in her hair. I think that's the first time I've seen that, unless I just haven't been paying attention. That one I actually really, really like. I'm going to put her in perfect. Okay, this next one is going to look very familiar because it literally is the same Barbie, but purple instead of orange themed. And it's called Moonlight Halloween, so it has like a different name, but that's definitely the same Barbie. I do think that the purple is not quite as good for me as the orange. I'm always biased towards orange, so I'm going to put her in cute. But, like, she still gets to be in cute because I obviously like the design. Okay, two more left. Halloween Party, which, again, feeling quite similar to some other ones. Um, I like the spiderweb pattern for the skirt. That, like, iridescent spiderweb fabric I just always am really drawn to, even though it's, like, very basic. I don't know. Overall, pretty boring, though. She's going to go in mid- And then lastly, we've got Halloween treats. You can't really see her all the way because obviously the box, like the way the shape of it doesn't let you see like her whole bottom half. But the part that I can see, I do like. I like the smaller witch's hat on the headband. I think that's cute. I like the necklace, the purple and orange. Usually not a color combo I'm a fan of, but like for Halloween, it's perfect. The shimmer on the top. I, I think this one's pretty good. She's not quite perfect. We're not ending on a perfect note, but I am gonna put her in cute. So that is going to be the ranking. Like I said, I know this is going to be very hard given that the um, lines all have very, very similar names. But do let me know your thoughts on all of these in the comments. I would love to hear like at least which ones are your favorites and least favorites. Maybe a whole ranking would be very hard to do. But yeah, I mean, this is actually a much more even spread than I had anticipated. I thought I was going to have a lot in mid, but I didn't realize I was going to have so many in perfect, which is a fun surprise. I don't know. I just, I love Halloween. So like the designs, the colors, it's definitely a very unique aesthetic for design. And I just like seeing what Barbie has done with it. So that has been the ranking for today.
I definitely had fun getting in the Halloween spirit today with you guys. I hope you enjoyed as well. If you did, if you could give it a like, that would be awesome. If you enjoyed and you have not subscribed yet, I make new videos every Monday and Thursday and I try my best to entertain you. So maybe consider it, but I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day or your night or wherever it might be, especially today. I hope you have a lovely spooky time and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.